I guess I'm gonna be lazy today. The day before yesterday, I think I bought like four hundred dollars worth of meat, like seventy chickens, ribs, ground beef, hamburger patties, hot dogs, shrimp. What else did I get? Corn dogs. Stocked the entire freezer. Bought these big old things of juice where you can make your own juice. Trying to say like a, a half of like a coffee cup, about that much. Make a gallon of juice. We bought a bunch of stuff like that. Got a little bucket car the other day. We bought a new car. A little Volvo 940. It's an older car, but it's alright. I already put a fender on it and I did some work. I'll probably be painting it in a couple of days. Maybe next month. Save up some more money and paint it or something. Once again, I got another car with no stereo in it. But, um, I'm not into stereos and stuff. Um, when it comes to music, I only play my own music or I don't listen to music at all most of the time. Um, <coughs> Let me think. Oh yeah, I think his name is Junior Ivan 2009. Also known as SoCo or Coso or Costco 21. Costco 21, that's what we know you by here at the real AIX. I don't know about this cat, man. He's... He's kind of negative, you know? I mean, it's like... I'm the most positive person I see on YouTube. Um, I'm the only black person that even gives a damn about white people on YouTube. Now, I'll be honest with you and tell you the truth. You know, the average black people on white too, on, on, well, on YouTube, on white too. The average black people on white too can give two shits for these white people on YouTube. And I'm telling you the truth, man. It's like, out of all the positive shit I be trying to say about all people, this dog is just... Oh, he didn't get his vasectomy thing they do to dogs. And I'm pretty sure he's happy because he didn't get that procedure done. But, um... Uh, he's just been a dick lately. Come here. Come here. What's happening? Come here. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on. Come here. What's up? How you doing? What? What are you up to? It's crazy. And you've got to watch him grow up right before your eyes. Mm. So listen. Um, a lot of people out there choose me to fuck with me and taint my day. Type something positive. You used to have your video camera up and you used to speak your mind. I gave you credit for that, but now you just be typing off the wall positive, uh, not negative. <laughs> Even thinking about you give me a headache. Let me get back on what I'm talking about. So, um, um, the music studio is going along slow. I know I told you folks I'd be back into the music lately, and um, you know, when we got the car, I've been working on this car and doing stuff like that, and me and my little brother's having some problems, so I'm trying to talk to him, and you know, I got all these things going on, and um. You know, and this race situation pops up on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's every time it dies, it comes back. Um, I'm tired of just seeing black people talk about how white people do shit. Um, when white people do a video, they'll put the video out, they get scared. There's white people out there who put videos out and their videos are here today. 
those white people don't talk like these white people who have negative things to say. And if you understand what I'm saying, you can say something negative about a group of people in a positive manner, a thinking way. But just to jump on people and say these people are down and these people are up and this and that and this and that, a lot of people are wrong, flat out wrong. You cannot look at one man and think he's another. You can't look at one white man and think he's just like the next white man. Not all white people are created equally, and that's why some white people think black people are taking things from them. But that's another story. If you cannot see who guides you, don't tell me about what I see. I see you being run into the ground just like we were running to the ground, but you can't see it because you believe that those people are the same as you. You may look the same, but you are not the same as those who control us. Us, me and you. You can call me nigger, this, that. Oh, my grandparents own yours. Shit like that is what I grew up with from the same generation I have to sit here with and say they don't have nothing to do with it. If you benefited from it at all in any way, shape, or form throughout history, if because my people were enslaved, you are free now, then you have benefited now from what happened then. I don't care about those people who say this and that about this and that, and they're, oh, I don't have nothing to do with my hands are clean with slavery. Your hands are cleaned. Your blood is stained. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some of you people out there who have that guilt complex, who feel guilty for slavery, and, and you really feel bad about it, it ain't your fault that that shit happened. It's your fault that you allowed it to happen to you. That's what I'm saying. I said it. And a man uh, showed me a video not too long ago, and uh, I want to find it and try to put the link on here. And it points out, that when the black people were freed, they gave black people a social security number and social security, some shit like that. A lot of poor white people didn't like that shit. They wanted a social security number too. Understand this. The slave masters was told, you know, you got to free all these slaves. Yeah. They freed all the slaves to the government. They ain't free them to be free and walk around and shit. They gave us a number, an ID tag. Sounds similar to what those boys did. And I'm not even going to Germany on you people. So let me go here and keep on saying what I'm saying. As soon as you snatched up the Social Security numbers and shit, you became slaves. Nobody here in America is free. When you come over to America to establish your citizenship, they give you a slave number. You belong to the United States of America. What you gain and what you earn belongs to the company that owns you, which is the company, the company of the United States of America. You, my friends, are all slaves. Period. We belong to the government. We're cattle. Got a fucking government ID cattle number. We're supposed to be productive for the government, not for yourself, for your government. We are already in a capitalist situation. We are the capitalist property. We are cattle here in America. Can you understand that? So, but other than that, my dog didn't get the snip snip thing. I got a little bucket car. I'm going to go back into the studio, and I'm not going to talk about race no more, because there is no race. The human race is lost. We didn't make it to the finish line. You motherfuckers want to hold the only people that's pushing the boat. You want to hold your own selves back. So if you think that you've done all that you can for the world, you have. But this is not a world in which you can control or have any power in. You gave your power up when you snatched up that slave number because you thought the niggers was going to get something that you wasn't. Well, there you have it. That's it in a nutshell. I love my white brothers and sisters. I hate their master. Do you understand that? Maybe you don't, and that's why you've been tuned.